All right, Shalom, first and foremost, all praises and glories unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harachak Wadash, double honor to our apostles, the bishops, and the elders of the great millstone who teach God and rule well. Greetings, salutations, blessings, and much love unto you. Hope I like out there. Shalom unto you. Your brother Shaquat here. And um, just want to go back and redo the audio. I've been having some trouble with uh, some of my videos. I think YouTube uh, is playing with with. He, you know he's playing with they playing with it you know they playing with videos certain things not being published and going up uh some of them don't have sound i think it was my phone as far as the sound goes but but i mean youtube's been doing this thing as well taking stuff down muting videos you know if, if something's in the background that instead of taking a video down they'll just mute the whole thing okay i've seen them do as well and so um, I'm going to just try to redo the audio. Hopefully um, everything is, uh, I'll try to be a little extra salty, you know, as far as uh, saying some of these key phrase buzz words in here. But um, this video is basically about the name I have was hypothesis, right? Uh, we we know the ending, all right? And then in this, I did get the, the, uh, <coughs> the, uh, the definition, so. Uh, I'll just break it down as I as I see the scriptures pop up. All right. Yeah. This is verse uh, 9, 1 Corinthians 13 and 9. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. Okay, so we prophesy in part. Okay. That's how we that's how we we understand. We don't get to know all the all the little details, but we can see the ending of this thing coming to a situation. All right. And I'm trying to, I had some examples. Let's see. All right. This is hypothesized, but I think it's, yeah, hypothesis is the word I want. It says a sup, supposition or proposed explanation made on the basis of limited evidence as a starting point for further investigation. And we're measuring the times. Okay? That's the investigation. Are these the ending times? Is this the time? So we're, we're hypothesizing uh, of these times. We're trying to measure the time to see if this is the end. How do we measure the time? By the prophecies. Okay? So we're measuring the time by the prophecies. All right? As things are coming to pass, we're watching these things connect. You know, we're watching World War Three or wars and rumors of wars. Okay, we're watching watching earthquakes in diverse places. All right, a lot of different things are happening in the world, and we're watching it come to pass. Okay, there's there's signs in the in the heavens and in the, in the moon. And I believe we just had something last week. Okay, well, yeah, it was um the uh, the eclipse, the solar eclipse, All right, well, a week or so ago. All right. All these different things are, are helping us measure the time. And we don't know exactly how this could play out, but we do know, like, even now, days later, there was a shooting that happened, okay, in Maine. We know that they're trying to get rid of the gun law so they can come in like a flood, okay? We can we, we know they got to come in like a flood. We don't know the detail of how they're going to come in like a flood, but we do know. We don't know how they're going to lock down these 15-minute cities, okay? But they're going to do it, well, probably by taking the guns. All right, we can start putting these scenarios together. And I used a scenario in this original video, but the spirit was moving. And if it comes to mind, I'll try to repeat it. All right. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> ah, yeah, another. Oh, wait. If it moves up right here. Okay, and then it says a proposition made as a basis for reasoning without any assumption of its truth. Okay? A proposition made as a basis for reasoning. Okay, and what's our basis for reasoning? These prophecies, okay? Without any assumption of truth. And we know faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Okay, so we don't know what's going to be true, but we do believe what the prophecy says, okay, through faith. 
We believe that the gift of faith was given unto us, thus saith the scriptures. And 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 from it we can measure the times and, and, and hypothesize how how this is gonna go down in prophecy. Okay? Hypothesize what's gonna bring the MOTB. Hypothesize when these lights, these little lights we see in the sky are gonna become big lights and, and you know, and and, and yeah, how shy the sky gets dimension opens up or whatever the case may be. However, you need to hear it, okay? And 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 how shall I come down? All right. In World War Three, the destruction of that, and I mean all of these situations, the MOTB, you know. I mean these disasters and trying to now they gotta find where everybody's at with Amber Alert. Now they wanna they wanna um all these people that are, I think this is what I had was uh, the people coming in at the border, okay military aged men coming in at the border all right that can easily be a situ a scenario where they uh as they come in they go well we got to find out who everybody is and so you either find out or you get kicked off the grid you you how do you find out you 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 take that mark the implant all right because you're the you're the other other group and that's why i can't say it because I, I did mention the um Gaza and all of that conflict thing that's going on over there, that war that's going on, okay? So let's see what else we got. Yep, the silent invasion. Back it up. Right here, the silent invasion. You know, this was a, all military aged men coming in. They're just coming in. They're letting everybody in. And I've seen, a, I believe it was Vice. I saw a video that had a similar thing they were talking about. How people were just able to come on in. All right, like a Trojan horse. Wow. Yeah, yeah, this is what it said. The silent invasion coast said is being committed primarily by single military aged men between the ages of 17 and 45 who are illegally entering the U.S. They, they're wearing camouflage and carrying backpacks, according to video captured by cameras placed throughout the county viewed by the center square. Uh, which is the name who wrote the article. Many are armed and dangerous. Look, this could be propaganda too. You know, many are armed and dangerous. Okay, but but when you look at these pictures, though, let's see. Yeah, that that might be part of the issue. That music might have been what got it cut. So hopefully that won't ruin what's going on, right? We're just watching how people are coming in. And look, you look at this, and it, it do look like all military age men. Nobody bringing their family in? They just leaving their family behind? Okay. So we can get back to that part. Okay. Uh, so before I read this, um, I, I couldn't find it. And even still, after I uploaded the original video, I was looking for it. Um, there was a, a speech that George W. Bush made on June the 6th, uh, 2006, okay, 2006, and he, um, and he was like out, outside somewhere, outdoors, I feel like he was on a tarmac or something somewhere, and he was just, you know, he was just saying, how do you keep track of illegals, Well, people come in the legal way, and then you, you give them a tracking device, we gotta start tracking these people something to that degree and, and you know everybody cheered and whatever else went on but i can't seem to find the video i thought i had uploaded on one of these pages but it's probably long gone anyway <clears throat> but there was a video uh and i remember back in 2006 when i watched that I actually seen that uh for itself you know I was like wow he's that's kind of weird to be chipping you know I, didn't, I mean he didn't really say it that way but he, he was like we need something to to keep track of all the people. 
you know, that's what we need, <laughs> you know? So when you watch all of these things, you got to understand if these prophecies are now coming true, we got to, we got to stay focused, man. We were given the gift of, 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 uh, of faith. We got to stay locked into what's going on. Okay. Yeah, so seeing it, you know, we, we, we see all these things and we've measured the times and the signs and the tokens. Okay, so so what does that what does that mean? Okay, we, we know what the ending is, so if we know what the ending is, uh, the financial collapse according to uh first um Ecclesiastes the twelfth chapter. Okay, well if we, we see that that scenario is gonna play out, what's going on with these banks? How many banks are somebody just sold hundred and forty million? out of chase oh wow okay all right so you see all of these things happening and, and but you can see the financial collapse coming okay you can see these these shopping malls and these um uh, strip malls on the corners and in the, in the you know certain areas are not up no more there's just people not not buying it you see these jakes out there stealing and looting and they can't keep up you see places closing because they're going they can't persecute they're not allowing them to persecute all right, and this was just a quick video that I was doing, okay, um, you know, basically just, just some, we, we know in part, we prophesy in part, but if you have faith, you got to believe that, that some people going to count slackness, but I'll just read it starting here, uh, 2 Peter ch chapter 2, verse 3. Excuse me, chapter 3, verse 9, said, the Lord Yahweh is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. We, we we know the ending is going to come to pass. We can hypothesize what's going on in between all the details. Okay, but uh, how it's going to play out, but we know the ending's coming because we have faith, right? It says, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance, right? There would be no flesh left to save if it wasn't coming sooner than later. All right, it says, but the day of the Lord uh, will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Okay, how will the heavens pass away with a great noise? In World War III, we put the, pre the precepts together. Um, um, Habakkuk, I mean, Joel, right? We start putting these things together. Joel, the third chapter, we're like, oh, okay. Joel, the second chapter, oh, okay. This the oh okay the revelation oh okay I see them the two two million thousand thousand missiles and and then they're describing the warheads and we're, you know you start seeing all of these things and now it makes in the glittering spear okay uh, no, noisome pestilence you start putting all of this stuff together and you can see it okay we know what the ending is gonna be the second address fifteenth and sixteenth chapter we can see that these things are playing out all right. It says, um, so we know that he's going to make this thing come to pass. We know in part, we prophesy in part. We don't know the detail. We just know that it's going to come to pass. But we can see that as it's playing out, this is a good a good movie. <laughs> you know, a good scenario, a balanced scenario of how this is going to play out. Looks like impending doom, but there's a miracle way out. Hey, the Heavenly Father writes so so beautifully, right? It says, um, um, where did it go? It goes, in which the heaven shall pass away with the, um, verse 10 again. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works there are, or that are therein, shall be burned up. Seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the Lord? If you got faith to see it, you got to have the mind to, 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 to be the part. Okay, if you was given a gift to see this thing, if you're called to see it, you got to get play the part, man. You got to be the part. All right. It says, uh, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. We see that because we also see um, 
men sighing and crying for all the abominations done in the midst of them. We also see Second Peter, the second chapter, where it was like a vexed righteous lot. Okay, we're agitated, spiritually agitated. Okay, just like Lot was in these times. Okay, which uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. We see that. We see Sodom and Egypt. We see that. Okay. So I didn't want to make this longer than the original video, really, but I kind of want to give a, another explanation of, of the same topic, you know, because the spirit was moving and it was a few days before things have happened uh, since. So I just kind of, uh, you know, picked it up and went from where under the same sentiment of the last video, which is we know in part and we prophesy in part. We can we can make a hypothesis on things, OK, because we know the ending. All right, so with that, Lord willing, this was edifying. I give all praises and glories unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rachakwadash, that belong to our apostles, the bishops, and the elders of the Great Millstone. And greetings, salutations, blessings, and much love unto you, hopefully, like out there. Till the next one, Shalom.